From mega skyscrapers that touch the clouds to eco-friendly giants changing city views, we're checking out five of the biggest skyscraper projects being built across the US in 2024. We start with number one, Waldorf Astoria, Miami. Miami is set to welcome a stunning new addition to its skyline with the Waldorf Astoria, Miami. With an innovative design resembling a stack of offset cubes, this building is a true eye-catcher. It will stand about 1,050 feet tall and offer 100 stories of hotel space. The design comes from Siga Suarez Architects and the renowned Uruguayan architect Carlos Ott. Building skyscrapers in Miami is always a challenge due to its location near the water and its sandy, limestone-rich soil. And to deal with this issue, the construction team started in November 2022 using a method called deep soil mixing to strengthen the ground and keep out water. This technique is important for supporting the building's unique structure and countering the strong winds from the sea. The tower's offset cubes not only create a stunning visual effect, suggesting the building is defying gravity, but they also allow each section to offer unique views of Miami. These blocks are covered in a glass skin, giving the building a sleek, futuristic look that carries over to the interior with its cool grey and blue tones. With construction ongoing and an expected completion between 2026 and 2027, the Waldorf Astoria Miami is set to be not just a new landmark, but a masterpiece of modern architecture and engineering. Number 2. 270 Park Avenue for some companies, having their own skyscraper in a prime location is a big deal. JP Morgan fits this bill perfectly with its new project at 270 Park Avenue in New York. This eco-friendly giant is already turning heads. The building features a series of rising steps that create a layered look, all starting from a base elevated 78 feet above the ground. This space will include a public plaza and green areas, showing JP Morgan's commitment to enhancing urban life and supporting New York's environmental goals. In replacing the old Union Carbide building, developers made sure to recycle, reuse or upcycle 97% of the demolition waste. The new tower will run entirely on electricity with zero carbon emissions. It's designed with health in mind, featuring enhanced air quality natural elements incorporated into the design, a biophilic design, and lighting that follows natural circadian rhythms to improve well-being. The building also employs cutting-edge technology and machine learning to manage and conserve energy efficiently. Water usage is expected to drop by 40% thanks to sophisticated water storage and recycling systems. All these efforts are not only for the comfort of the 14,000 people who will work there, but also to achieve LEED certification, which is a top standard for sustainable buildings. Recently, the construction reached a milestone with the installation of the final steel beam at 1,250 feet. Now work is progressing on the 134-foot crown that will top off the building, aiming for completion in 2025. Number 3. Tribune East Tower Our next stop is at the Tribune East Tower project on 421 North Michigan Avenue in Chicago. In a city already home to over 1,300 high-rises, another super tall might not seem like big news, but the Tribune East Tower is a testament to the ongoing trend of vertical living in even the most skyscraper-packed places. Approved in 2020, the project initially showed no progress, sparking rumours that it might be scrapped. However, there's now a renewed sense of optimism about its future. The tower is set to rise to a height of 1,420 feet and will feature a design that includes a glass curtain wall with gold-coloured vertical fins. This not only adds a touch of elegance, but also ensures that the views of the original Tribune Tower are preserved from the Ogden Slip, which is a nearby canal. The Tribune East Tower is expected to include both a hotel and residential units, adding much-needed living and accommodation space to the city. Construction was supposed to start last year, and then there were talks of starting in the quarter of 2024. However, as of now, construction is yet to begin. Number 4. The Waterline 
Austin is also getting ready to welcome the Waterline, a new skyscraper that's set to be the tallest in the city by 2026. It's going to be just 19.6 feet taller than the next highest building, standing proud at 1,020 feet. The project is a collaboration between Lincoln Property Company and Carroy Residential. It's designed by Con Pedersen Fox and is definitely going to make a splash on the Texas skyline. The waterline started taking shape in June 2020, and the buzz from years of rumors and sneak peeks made the actual start of construction even more exciting. The design is modern, using lots of steel and glass, but it still feels warm and natural thanks to big windows, comfy materials and local stone. This helps it fit right into its surroundings. The base of the building sits 29.5 feet off the ground, supported by unique columns that are a shout out to some of Austin's cool tree species. But the waterline isn't just about looking good. It's also about giving back to the community. The developers have pledged $1 million to the Waterloo Greenway project, making sure that the skyscraper isn't just a place to live or work, but a part of the city's green spaces that everyone can enjoy. Named after its great views of the Colorado River, the waterline is just getting started with construction. The core of the building is already peeking out from its spot near Walla Creek. Everyone's looking forward to seeing it reach the sky. Number five, Fourth and Columbia. Our final stop is in Seattle. There's a new building underway that could become the tallest in the Pacific Northwest. It's called the 4C, short for Fourth and Columbia. The journey began in September 2015 when Crescent Heights, a developer, bought a family-owned parking garage site for $48 million. Plans were drawn up for a groundbreaking 102-storey skyscraper, a first for the area. But this vision proved too ambitious and the building's design has undergone several revisions. Initially, concerns about air traffic led to a reduction in the building's height, first to 100 storeys in 2016 and then to 93 storeys, standing at 1,030 feet. In June 2020, the project took a new turn. Renamed the Seattle Tower, it was redesigned by ODA architects to stand at 1,184 feet, featuring a distinctive large cutout that included a park halfway up. This space was intended as a communal area for residents and a viewing spot for Mount Rainier, especially valued for outdoor access during the pandemic. However, these plans didn't last. By October 2022, the architects changed again this time, Skidmore, Owings and Merrill stepped in with a new blueprint for a 91-storey building reaching 1,017 feet. It appears this design will stick. As of now, construction hasn't started and there's no set completion date. But when it does finish, the views from the top are sure to be spectacular. That's all we have for you today at Ultimate Mega Builds. We'll be back with another fascinating video soon. Hit the notification bell to stay updated.